miracles, uh, prophecy dealing with children. That's right. Was it the centurion that came? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Serving. Serving. That's he right. Asked about his daughter. That's right. Um, Jairus, Jesus said, yes. go home. Go. Yes. Yes, he go. did. He took time out for children, and that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy it. I mm -hmm. really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It led up to me giving up my born day in 2017. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a party since 2017. I oh. said, nope. I'm giving it up because I want to do a toy drive and make okay. sure our babies have toys. Yes, yeah. So before we get to that, we you, you mentioned about Peter wanting to know who's the greatest. The disciples, they did. They came to Jesus and they wanted to know who was the greatest among them. And Jesus had them sit down and then he called the little children over. He called them over to sit in the midst of them. And that's when he was telling them to come ye all as little children come unto me. Now he wants adults to come like little children. Little children don't have to come like us, mm -hmm. but we're supposed to come like them because they're so humble. They're so sweet. They're, they're so trusting. Mm -hmm. They're trusting and they're, they're loyal because they're trusting that their parent is going to provide for them. They're trusting that someone's going to love them, that somebody's going to care for them. And so, and they're humble in that way. They have that blind love, that blind faith that you're going to take care of me. And that's how Jesus was saying that we're supposed to come to him. And so when those little ones come to us like that, we can't help but to embrace them and love on them and help them to understand what their gifts are, yes. what their talents are, yes. what their abilities are, how they can grow up and be doctors and lawyers and teachers and preachers <laughs> and all of those wonderful things. And you've been doing that in your home with your daycare. You've got some scholars in that daycare. Yes, ma'am. Through the grace of God, daughter. Legally 13 and a half years. So we, so years before that, me and my husband just did it and took care of our babies. Um, as you were speaking, my mind went back to feeding the 5,000. I often ask myself, all those adults there, but Jesus seen that child. Isn't that something? Yes. He had a heart for children. He had a heart for children. That was a Jewish custom to bless the children. Mm -hmm. They would bring the children to the rabbis and to the elders mm -hmm. to pray over them mm -hmm. and bless them. Mm -hmm. And we got to get back to that more. We, I hope we're doing that with our children and our grandchildren, that mm -hmm. we're praying over them and blessing them. I know I used to put oil in the shoes and the tennis shoes of mine. And I used to, when they would sleep at night, I'd go in their room and I would be praying over them and blessing them and, and making, and Lord, keep them from danger and harm, seen and unseen. And so we have to do that so that, because we want to call out those things that look not as though they were. That's what scripture tells us. So what we see happening in our children now, if we speak, speak to them, pour life into them. Yeah. That doesn't say that that's what's going to be their future. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say that that's what's going to be tomorrow mm -hmm. because they're the legacy. And that's why I love how you surround yourself with the babies because they are our future. Oh, I, I love my babies. Uh, before I was, I'm not able now to sit on the floor with them. We would go to the library, to the reading story time. And we would all sit on the floor. And uh, the children that I did know would, uh, would ask their parents could they come and sit on the floor with oh, us. Okay. And we, got, we had like 50 children just sitting on the floor. And it was so comforting to see these innocent babies. Mm -hmm. And all they wanted us to do was read. They didn't want nothing else. They wanted us to read. And, and you are right, daughter. It's the innocence in them mm -hmm. and they grow up a lot of them not forgetting 
Right. I ran into a young man. I haven't seen him in over 25 years, but he recognized me. He said he heard me say peace and good day to somebody. <laughs> Can't and forget he, that, Yeah, lady. he hollered. He said, that sounds like Mama Lady Gilmore. Nobody says it but her. Mm-hmm. And he's six feet at all of this, tall, handsome, all right. dressed professionally. And he said, look what you did. Praise God. He said, look what you did. I'm steady trying to remember. And when he said, when I was on drugs and you got out your car and you hugged me and you called me son, Mm. he said, and I told you my mother never called me son. Mm. He said, that stuck with me. He got off drugs. He was telling me the whole story. He got off drugs, went in rehab. He had to do some time. And uh, went to school, got his college degree, and All I was right. just jumping and crying. I said, did you what? Right. He said, yes, I got my master's, mother. Praise God. He said, and I lost your number. I didn't know how to get in contact with you. Mm. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm doing what you taught us. Come back. All right. He said, I came back. All right. Went to Morehouse Ooh, and yeah. said, I came back. Came back to give to the community. Mm-hmm. I said, that's such a, a warm story. When you can hear it, the rewards mm-hmm. from your labors mm-hmm. and see it in that that young man after mm-hmm. he was had a life of so much pain. Because mm-hmm. that's what drugs is. It causes a lot of pain. Mm-hmm. Um, they're trying to cover up the pain that they're already enduring. And then it brings about more pain. Yeah. Um, at a at a later time in their life, but we thank God for you, Lady Gilmore, for how you're just loving on these little ones so that they can recognize their self worth. That's it. Teach them from here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should hear my daycare babies. I am somebody, Grandma. I said you are. I said who are you? And they'll stand up and give me their full name. See, we got to teach them. That's right. You got two parts to your name. And that's why I call my baby scholars. Oh, I got some scholars. Believe that. <laughs> oh, yeah. My phone, <laughs> what is it, locked, and I uh-huh, couldn't get in it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. My three-year-old scholar, mm-hmm. she said, let me see it, Grandma. I don't know what she did. only thing I seen them fingers was, was doing this. Next thing I know, my phone ringing. All right. Pour into them. Yes. Pour into them. Yes. Read the word. <laughs> pour into them. You will pour into them. All right. Um, Matthew 18, verse 2. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And he said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become a little, little child, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever there shall humble himself as his little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receives me. Receives me. And when that child comes, because scripture, I just read here, it didn't say anything in scripture about how children are not able to respond to God. It didn't say anything about that. It didn't say anything about how children can't praise and worship. It didn't say anything about how children can't pray and how they can't take part in thanksgiving and be thankful. Scripture doesn't say anything about that. Scripture says, come all ye, all ye. And there is a call. There's a call and a response. The the gospel is to be given to all. Is to be given, to be given to all. And then the response is required by those who are old enough to know right from wrong. Amen. Now, we used to say age seven, but now <laughs> uh-uh. we got to drop that down. <laughs> drop it down. Bring it down. We got to drop that down. Mm-hmm. We got to drop that down. Mm-hmm. I think we have five. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. at five. In the mental health field, we talk about the age of five. But there's some, like you said, you're a scholar. They may know, they may be more advanced. Mm -hmm. 
they may be more advanced. So that's why we have to recognize the gifts of our children and help them to grow in the prosperous, positive ways of life mm -hmm. and knowing who Christ is. Because why, why when we see them stand, isn't it a beautiful thing when you see the little ones standing up praising the Lord? Yes, it's and beautiful. Isn't it beautiful mm -hmm. when they are when they are play shouting? Yes. When they yes. when they got when they, mm -hmm. they 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 they're imitating us mm -hmm. when they see us dancing and get mm -hmm. filled with the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost and then they want to do it too. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't want to stop that. No, we no, don't want to stop. Leave them alone. Leave my we babies We don't want to stop that because you don't know what God is doing to that child. Mm -hmm. Leave them alone. That's right. That's right. Let them because we let we you ex, we expose them to other things in the world. Amen. Why not expose them to Christ? Amen. 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 One of my babies, a uh, family of four, they spent the weekend with their daddy. And when they got ready to eat and he didn't say his blessings, they said, ooh, Grandma said you got to thank God for your food, Daddy. He said, I ain't got to thank nobody. She said, God's going to get you, Daddy. Because Grandma mm. said God is looking at all of us. Yes, and is. we're going to say our blessings over our food. Mm -hmm. Well, the older one told me that later on they did see their father drop his head. Okay. I said, that's all right. She, mm -hmm. she said, I didn't hear him say nothing, Grandma. I said, you don't have to say anything. God heard him. Mm -hmm. The point is the Lord touched him and reminded him. Yes. Yes, he did. He convicted him. He convicted him. Yes, he and did. And so... From that day on, Daddy started leading prayer, doing meal time. Ooh, nice. Okay. See? We can learn from them. We can learn from the children. That's why the children doesn't have to come as the adult, but the adult has to come from, as the child mm -hmm. because we can learn from them. We can, we can learn. learn from them because they don't they don't shy away from they'll they'll speak right out and, and speak on what they see, mm -hmm. and they come like you said before with that innocence, mm -hmm. that pure. Here, they don't know. Mm -mm. One of my children asked me about Adam and Eve. That's mm -hmm. because I read the story, you know, and I, she said, Grandma, was God mad with Adam and Eve when they ate that apple? Did he whoop them? And I said, not with the belt, but God didn't like what they did. Did they sit in and think about cheer? I said, yeah, they kind of sat in to think about you. Okay, you got to think yeah, about yeah, you. See, I like that. Uh, you got to think about it. I said, like, we have I think about cheer? Oh, yeah, Grandma, I think about it when I sit in the chair. So all these questions, they asked me about 10 questions about Adam and Eve. Okay. And then they brought this part up. Why did God wait till nighttime? <laughs> Why was he mad? I said, woo. So now I'm praying because the questions is getting it's getting more tough, <laughs> getting serious. More tense. Yes, yes it's getting, getting serious. serious. I said, "Well, I said, you know how Grandma get a little upset when you do things." Mm -hmm. He said, "But well, I'm talking about God, not Grandma." Okay. I said, "Okay." I said, "God waited till the nighttime." I said, "The cool of the evening. That's nighttime." Because he had to calm himself down. The two-year-old says, like you do, Grandma? Yes, just like I do. Because I don't want to ever chastise my children in anger. Because my mother didn't do us like that. Mm -hmm. I said, yes. That's why mm -hmm. Grandma said, Grandma, I need time to think about it. And we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. So they said, oh, okay. Now, they're done now. Mm -hmm. But I was sweating. I was hot. I'm like, Lord, please let me be that answer the right thing. Because we got to be careful. Yes, we do. We do. And that's very important that we give them the godly answers. The godly answers. Not our interpretation or mm -hmm. our opinions. Mm -hmm. We want to give them what the word of God says. And that's important. Mm -hmm. That's important. They like you got that. all those nice scriptures wrote down. <laughs> I'm excited about the scriptures. I love God, and I just love his word. Always, always, always. How many years has it been since you've been working with the babies? 
Well, truth be told, let me see. 50 years? I started young. 50 years. Because back then, um, the, the welfare system wasn't like it is now. You got cheese, peanut butter, stand in the lines, and, and all of that. And the street I grew up on, 100th Street, everybody had gardens. So, okay. so all of them would pick food from the garden, and we would go up to a certain part of uh, Cedar and pass our food. Nice. That's, that's okay. what my, my mother used to do. Yeah, we would pass our food. Yes. And um, helping the community. Yes, yes. I just couldn't believe when the Lord touched my heart to do it because, like I said, I used to tell Mom, I ain't doing all that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. She never said nothing. She said, all right, baby. But mm -hmm. she had that, that look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we would feed the community um, clothes, mm -hmm. um, when the, when the hand-me-downs got, yes, I remember Mama that. would wash them, starch them. That's why I'm like ironing today. <laughs> starch them. Back then, we had that Argo starch. Oh, yeah. You boil it. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Do the clothes, and uh, we would take the clothes and give them to people. So I was a yes. young girl doing that. And um, the, the crowd kept growing. So it was a whole lot of people. That was coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And giving. Mm. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So now it's part of my life. Mm -hmm. It's like I say when he pop these big eyes open, I'm ready, daughter. Yes. For whatever assignment the Lord gives me, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we're ready. We're ready. And we, we got to plant that seed. And we're the water for the seed. Mm. Am I right, daughter? We have to go ye therefore into all the lands, teaching, preaching, mm -hmm. every nation. Mm -hmm. And so we can't sit on our thumbs. We can't sit back and do nothing. We have to go forward. Yeah. We have to go forward. With joy. Yes. Not with grudging. Joy. Not, not grudgingly. grudgingly. Yes. With joy. With joy. Serving is joy. It is. It is. And then when I found out coming up, uh, the churches, the black churches mm -hmm. that would hide the slaves when they would come through Ohio. Okay. I was blown away. Oh. St. James on, I think it's, it's either in the 80s or 46. That was one of the churches that housed the slaves. My I said, my. Wow. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the churches. and uh, We've got a lot of history here. Yeah, we have a lot of history. Mm -hmm. A lot of, of history. Mm -hmm. And they would be hiding the, the slaves and still having mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you, you know, the bounty hunters was coming looking for them, but mm -hmm. God protected them all. Yes. And just think how they got free and helped along the way. Isn't that something? Yeah, have? that's 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 a wonderful. You know, you think back on the goodness of the Lord and how He He was with people and protected them and kept them in the dangerous times, dangerous times of working towards helping others. And today, we have to keep that in mind. We 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 don't want to get uncomfortable. No. We don't want to get uncomfortable. We don't want to get involved in other people's business. We want to stay in our little comfortable lane. But sometimes we do have to step out. Got to step out. And be uncomfortable and help somebody else. Um, because there's, there's a great need. Great need. There's and we're still need. talking about children. Because these babies, children, they grow up. That's right. That's right. Right, daughter? And That's right. We want a better life for our children. Yes, we do. We do. We, we want them to get what they need, not get what they don't need. Amen. And that has to do with attachment. Mm -hmm. So when our children are not getting what they need, then they seek it in other ways mm -hmm. because they're learning how to survive. Mm -hmm. But then when they get what they need, nurturing and love mm -hmm. and food, we got to meet the basic needs mm -hmm. too. You know, we got to meet the basic needs, food, clothing, shelter. Mm -hmm. um, then they're able to grow. Mm -hmm. 
then they're able to learn. Mm -hmm. They can sit still in the classroom. Yes. And learn. And learn. Mm -hmm. But we got to give them what they need. Amen, amen. Um, Daughter Ivanka Hall with the uh, Northeast Ohio Black Coalition before the pandemic and during the pandemic, we fed it from midnight to about three in the morning. They took a section of uh, Kinsman. Okay. And we had two sandwiches, fruit nourishing in the, the brown bag. So they came to the bus stop and they seen this lady. She was laying, hiding her children so they wouldn't get raped mm. or snatched from her. Okay. And she was, they were hungry. Mm. So they uh, would give them all four bags apiece. So oh, now yeah. they can eat yes. breakfast, yes. lunch, more dinner, than yeah, meal. more than one meal. Mm. And uh, when Dodie Vanka called me, she was just in tears. Because we can talk about it, but it's a difference, like you said earlier. You're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Be doing. about it. We yeah. need to be about it. We can talk all yeah. day, but we got to give our children what they need, not what they don't need. And I think they were like four and six. These are babies that's homeless. Mm -hmm. And um, through the organization, of course, you know, they got them somewhere to stay, this, this, and that, you know, running from domestic violence. So just think what that did for those children. No, the mother and the children. Somebody cared. Yes. Yes. Somebody cared. And, and this is a good season. We should be doing it all the time, but even more so now. This is a good season to reach out to a family. Help a family. Adopt a family that's yeah. in need. This is a wonderful time of year to do it. You, you know, why you're thinking about what you're going to be buying for your family, your friends, your church, adopt a family, or even just reach out to give to someone you know who could use it, who's in need. Mm -hmm. Socks, clothes, the toy. And we're going to talk about next the toy drive that's coming up. But how, tell me, um, Lady Gilmore, how it came about where you wanted to start to honor those little ones with this wonderful event that she has coming up in this, in this month. How did that come about, the, the tutus and bow ties? <laughs> what a birthday. What, a, what, a, what an excitement birth. Going to the group homes, the shelters, up to the schools. I okay. went to this one school, and I kept seeing the children come up and down the hallway, didn't have socks on. And this is, this is not Christmas. This was September. They didn't have socks okay. on. Okay. Like you just said. So we did a sock drive. And the Lord blessed us with over 500 pairs of socks. And we took them up to the school. And we brought some of our children with us. Because we want to teach them. Because you have, there are, like you said earlier, there are some that don't. So that's how all of this was birthed. Now I'm thinking socks, coats. Do they have toys? Right. right. Do they have toys? Yeah. And what we do is. Kids need to be kids. Yes. Children, they just need to be children. They shouldn't be worried about these things. And we would bring our children with us. Okay. When we took the socks, we took mm -hmm. some of our children. They were passing our socks. Mm -hmm. During the toy drive, we took our up teaching until the pandemic. Them, teaching them again. Teaching yeah, we, them we again. We got to teach them. I mean, you got 50 pairs in your drawer. That's right. And some people don't have any. That's right. Let's get and, some uh, socks. And that's what we miss about the toy drive because we don't have hands on now. Yes. And yes. Uh, we would uh, take so the, them to the, the shelter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they had their T-shirts on and they're passing out the toys to the children. And they were, they're the cutest little babies that you could see. Mm -hmm. They's like, peace and good day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Grandma said, get this to you. And um, they would give them the toys. Isn't that and beautiful? Isn't about that beautiful? 50, they let us give about 50 
only, you know, 50 because we couldn't stay long. And just to see them giving. Yes. And to see the children's eyes. Mm -hmm. And we specified new toys, daughter. Because my nice. babies get used things all year. Yeah. Let's just give them that one Something time new. where they can take the wrapper off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take the whatever off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's important. That's important. It, it helps them to feel a part of things and valued. Mm -hmm. Because we want to build self-worth. That has to do with self-worth. So we want to build up that self-esteem to help them to feel good about themselves, that self-worth to help them to know they are valued, and, and, and the self-concept on how they view themselves. Because, see, we can view ourselves Ooh. totally different than what Christ says who we are. Oh, that's good. I had someone share with me the other day, and it resonated in my spirit that they had the imposter syndrome because they didn't think that they had any gifts and talents and they weren't intelligent. Now, here they are doing all these things, educated, had their degrees, a few degrees, had very good uh, positions in their in their careers in their job, mm -hmm. but they felt that they they didn't have self worth. They felt that they weren't able to stand along oh. with everybody else in their career. Wow! And they had to come to see that I am an intelligent person. I am worthy of these credentials that God has blessed me with. I am important. So we have to help our children to know these things about themselves, that, mm -hmm. that you are valuable. You want to see yourself in a positive light. Mm -hmm. But who do they learn that from? They've got to learn it from us mm -hmm. yeah. because the world's not going to give it to them. Mm -hmm. Got to learn it for us to help with that self-confidence. Amen. That self-awareness. Amen. That, yes, you are important. You are a child of the Most High God, and he loves you. And you can be anything that God says you can be. Anything. Anything at all. That Astronaut. God says, that's right. Anything. Anything. That God says you are, you, you, you can do it. That's right. You can do it. Wow. That's right. You can do it. That's why, like you said, we have to teach them. Mm -hmm. Um Reading, reading is precious oh, to me. Yes, yes. Very precious yes. to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely need to read. Absolutely. Can't learn words if you don't read. Over there, when I was growing up, over the summer, you know, the libraries had the summer reading programs. Mm -hmm. And I had to, my mother required that we participate Hello. In that summer reading program, Amen. I had to get at least five books, yes. minimum, minimum. And they didn't all have to be hard copy books. She would tell me, they don't all have to be hard copy. Mm -hmm. They don't all ha have to have the hard backs. Mm -hmm. You can get a couple soft ones, Aww. but you got to come home with at least five books. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I did because it increased my vocabulary. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And what Daddy would do, even to this day, we still go to the library. It's, it's just in us. He would read the books. And we had to write a 50-word report. Ah. So now, you know, we're not playing like we're reading this book because Daddy's read it. And at dinner time, we're going to discuss the book, so you better have your facts right. So here comes the test. Here comes the test. Yes, yes. No, praise God for that. Well, that's beautiful. And that's what we, people, these are not traditions. These are things that helped us to grow. Absolutely. And so we want to be sure that we're remembering to instill these things in our children. Because, yeah, we forget. We, can, we forget. We get caught up in the mm -hmm. hustles of life every day and trying to manage homework and, and families and doing all the things that we need to do. 
but we also have to remember the 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 nuggets. I like to call them. My husband used to call them the nuggets. The, the nuggets. good 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 nuggets that yes. we got growing up. Yes. To pass them on to our children, and they can pass them on to their children. The Bible talks about that. Yeah. Remember them worse, passing them down through the generations. Amen, amen. My daddy, math. I'm so good at math because he okay. told mama, put them two pigs and then popsicles up. My children need to learn how to count money. Say that again. Say that again yeah. about math. What did math. you say? I love math. Say that one more time. <laughs> I love math. Because that's a rarity. It's, that's a yes, rare yes, statement. Yes. Well, my children, 13 of my children, is still from pre-K to whatever grade they're in now, they still getting straight A's in math. I learned them like, and my son, Grant, you count money because you're going to need money instead of popsicle sticks and toothpicks. And all of them have gotten A's in math and still maintain it. Good. That's wonderful. That is wonderful because you don't hear that. It's not a common statement. No. The common statement is the opposite of that. So the I cell love phone. I don't allow my children. Calculators, no. All right. That's no. how it used to be. That's how it used to be. That calculator battery go out, then what? We have to go back to the basics, like you keep saying. And certain certain um, state exams won't let you use calculators either. I heard that. Mm -hmm. I heard that they didn't when I was coming up through the ranks neither. Mm -hmm. But if we, when we teach them the basics, mm -hmm. they'll have it. They'll have it. They will have it. Teach them the basics. Blessing. Our babies you will have it. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't that something? All of them. Thirteen of them, and they still get A's in math. That's great. That is wonderful. That is because you don't you don't find that to be the subject where everyone says, "Oh, I love math. I like math. I want to be a mathematician, or I enjoy math." It's always the opposite. Yes, and we do grocery shopping. I give them money, okay. money okay. when we go to go grocery store, and they have their little list. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you read it, mm -hmm. and you get whatever, and they pay for it with the money. And I have them count their chains there. Good. The, the, Good. the cashier, she was just in tears. She said, I've never seen this before in my life. That's good. Because what better tool to use than money? Because everybody, you know, they have a, a love for money. Everybody can appreciate money. Yes, we yes. can all appreciate money. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. so that's good. Yeah, that is really good, really good. So tell us how we are evol evolving now to the toy drive that has been happening yearly. Oh, my gosh. It's such a blessing. The first year was a, uh, we did, 2017, was the uh, dialysis center. I was amazed to find out how many ch children, babies, was, it's over 1,300 babies. And I said, how old is the youngest? They said, six, six weeks old. Mm. Me and Sister Joyce was done. We couldn't think no no more. So uh, we we blessed them. We pray for which agencies. Okay. Because everybody's coming after, after you, so you have to mm. pray. And then I have, I have to write it down because I, I get so Cheerful. Yeah, six and then, weeks uh, old, diabetic? Yes. yes. Oh, my. So we set it up like a store. So the ones that was on the dialysis machine, um, when they got off, they, they went in. We had three offices full of toys, mm -hmm. and they we gave them bags, and they shopped. Because when you're down, you don't want to keep feeling down. Right. So that's what we did in 2017. In 2018 was the Cleveland Treatment Center. Oh. And, um, you know, they housed the parents and the children. So we set it up again, and they shopped. Nice. And uh, 2019 was the Cleveland Site Center. That was another learn. Oh, my goodness. We went to the Site Center on a tour. Mm -hmm. 
and found out that there's certain toys that the children couldn't play with because of feelings. Yes. So they gave yes. us a list. And the city of Cleveland, we posted the list, and they bought what was on the list for Great. the Cleveland Sight Center. But we still had, you know, regular toys, and that was an awesome experience. And then, yeah, and um, that was a different population that you yes, were able to reach out to. Yes, it was amazing. And then in 2020, the Northeast Ohio Black Health Coalition, mm. back to them, we do a, a baby program where they actually deliver meals for three days. So we bless those families, the special need families, anyone that couldn't and can't get out. So we went there, and then literacy in the hood, you know, mm. daughter do, does the books, but they didn't have toys. Mm. So we bless them with toys. And then this year, we're doing um, my sister's keeper, Cleveland. What they do is the population of cancer. Okay. So they started out with breast cancer survivors, but it expanded too much. So they walk with the family, the patient. They walk with that sister all the way through the end. They still take care of the child. If they get a call and said the bills, the utilities, or whatever, they take care of all that. So we're going to bless the children mm. this year. Mm. And they give us the count. Okay. You, you know, they, they give it to us because we don't know. Um, believe it or not, God is so good. Last year in the pandemic, we got 2,000 toys. Praise the Lord. During the pandemic. 2,000 toys were given. Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. And it was enough to bless the agencies, the shelters, the group homes, and all these calls that I get. We were able to bless them. So the Lord is allowing Fantastic. it to keep grow every year because there is such a need. And I get letters from my babies. Mm. Yes, it's, it's so emo crying. I'm, I just be crying. They can barely write, you know, how they do. But it's just the part that they want to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so that's how it started. That's a beautiful thing where you are reaching out and touching the lives of so many children and their parents, their families too, because just not the children, touching so many families that are in need. And the most rewarding daughter is they call and ask what church I go to. What church she go to? That's that's the blessed part. Okay. They want to know Jesus. Yeah. They want to yeah. come to church. That's their association with, yeah, what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. yeah. What church you go to. Mm -hmm. That is more rewarding than any thousands of toys that they, they give mm -hmm. us to bless the children. Yeah. Oh, my. Some of them told me they haven't been in church in 20, 30 years. And ask me, why you stay so dressed up and you do all this? <laughs> I said, don't worry, we all right, we all right. But we are reaching. You spoke earlier when you was reading the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not in here. It's they out, out there. there. And to connect my name to what church I go to. Well, they could see up. they could see they could see God they could see the spirit of the Lord in you so they knew it has to be more mm -hmm. than what they see with the natural eye mm -hmm. yes ma'am what church do you go to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so as our parents used to say somebody watching you that's right that's and right. to you all that donate we get the, I'm telling you these are Awesome toys. Uh, last year we got 19 tablets. It was in this box, so we didn't know tablets. And this was during the pandemic where the schools yeah. didn't have enough for yes. them. Yes, right, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. We are some giving people. We have big hearts. We yeah. do. We do. We have big hearts. We're some giving people. Mm -hmm. We love to give. We love to help others. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for those of you who do that. 
I am too. I'm so grateful for having such a big heart Mm -hmm. and caring for others. Yes, ma'am. And the parents tell us that it has changed them in school. Good. That's where you first see the impact of things is in school. What you get for Christmas? I got a new toy. I got this. I got that. And the parents said the F's have turned to A's. And they got it. They some of them won't even throw the box away that the toy has come in, <laughs> which is good. Whatever works. Yes. yes. Am I right? Yes, because it's something new, mm-hmm. and they want to be able to take care of it. Mm-hmm. It shows that they you, they have a responsibility to take care of it. Mm-hmm. They they recognize that, and they may not have had anything new like you were saying before. They get used up all year round. Mm-hmm. Now they've got something new. They want to take care of it. And when they're doing better in school, they're not they're 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 not worried and feeling left out. Yeah. And that increases their socialization. Yes. Because now they're able to relate to their peers who are getting mm-hmm. toys. Mm-hmm. And they've gotten toys. So that increases their socialization socialization now. Mm-hmm. So when that problem is gone, now they can learn. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we started in 2017, we had a we used Baby Brother's pickup truck to deliver, you know, the toys and all that. But in 2018, we had to rent a U-Haul. That's 2019, right. today, uh, 2021, we had to we're renting a U-Haul. Okay. So we can make one trip. We take it to yeah. the storage area at XYZ's place. Mm-hmm. And, like, this is being Sunday. So Monday we come in with a team, and we separate the toys, boy, girls, and we have our list. So to keep from making two and three trips, we mm-hmm. already have the order in for well, the that, Well, that's a good problem to have. Yes, isn't it? I said, <laughs> more toys. Hallelujah. That's a good problem that's to right. have. Yes, 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 yes. What did I, uh, Elder John Lewis, say? His oh, words. Yeah, what's his phrase? Yes. Um, more tr- um, good trouble. Good trouble. Good, good trouble. trouble. So that's good trouble. Good trouble. Good trouble. And yes. um, it's amazing because we want to see our babies mm-hmm. happy. Yes, we do. Dolls, dolls I've never heard of. Oh, then there's a lot of dolls. Yes, <laughs> train sets, uh, mm-hmm. walkie talk, just all types yeah. of things. So we thought that we would be able to go and let our babies, you know, give it to them again. But now this rise is up, so we don't want our babies in harm's way. We don't want that. And they already ready. They didn't ask. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But that's what God wants us to do, even your ministry. Mm-hmm. Your mm-hmm. position of your education, it's a ministry. Mm-hmm. But you said what the lady said to you. Mm, yeah, she thought she had imposter syndrome, didn't recognize her gifts, mm-hmm. and she had all of these gifts and talents of helping people, mm-hmm. but she didn't see it within herself. Mm-hmm. 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 And that's like that antibody experience. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I feel like the Lord's taking me out of this body and putting me somewhere else, and then he bring me back. I'm like, because, you know, the shift in the atmosphere is so Mm -hmm. spiritual, you know, you can feel it. Yes, yes. Well, it's it's a good thing, though, to be able to to see the fruit that you're bearing. You want to bear fruit. And you are, Lady Gilmer, you are bearing a lot of fruit. So much fruit. Thank the Lord. That. It has turned into now where you are giving a gala to appreciate the little ones with the tutu and bow ties. Tell us about tutu oh, and bow ties. my little darlings. Tell us about tutu the and bow ties. The girls are the, wear the tutus and the boys wear the bow ties. And some of my children have never been in a fashion show. So in 2019, I'm getting all these calls. When is rehearsal? No rehearsal. Mm-hmm. These are my babies. Y'all gave them to me. These are mine. <laughs> and me and the Lord decided no rehearsal. No rehearsal. Let them enjoy themselves. Okay. Got them all dressed up. 
they ripped the runway. You would thought we were some uh, scouts. I didn't even know sitting in the audience, oh. and they thought our babies were professionals. I said, okay. they are professionals. That's right. They know how to do they, this. <laughs> it was practicing at home. Mm -hmm. And what a difference that tutus and bow ties did. The ones that were shy. Yes. The ones whose grades weren't good, and the list goes on and on. So we couldn't do it in 2020. They started calling me uh, January 2nd of 2020. And I said, no, nah, what, what's going on? We can't have it. But we're having it this time. Yeah. Oh, they are excited. And out of this was birth entrepreneurs on the rise. Because some of them okay. started their own businesses. Wow, look at God. You look at God. Isn't that Isn't wonderful? Isn't that something? All you got to do is just tap it. Mm. And God will <laughs> just open it up. And they didn't told me about the outfits. Oh, yeah, they didn't wrote a list. You, you know, I know how to write better now, so I can write it down and give it to Lady Lagarde. Miss Lady Lagarde. Yes, That's okay. Miss Lady Lagarde, yes. the smooches, who does a wonderful job. Yes, she, she really does. does. Yes, she yes. does a wonderful job. So it's then opened up a whole new, uh, wait till you come. Oh, they, yes, I'm looking forward to um, it. From what age is what you say? The youngest, what's the youngest two. age? Two. We got a two couple two-year-olds two this year from two to 17. All right. Again this year. And um, they're just so eager. Mm -hmm. You know, they're telling me, I'm not going to wear what I wore last time. I, mommy got me this and daddy got me that. Just the excitement. Mm -hmm. Joy. So I'm ex excited to see my babies because I yes. haven't seen them. And we'll be doing that December 19th, 2021. Yes, tell us where. At MEC Suites Rockside Independence, 3 p.m. I'm telling you, you better be on time. Daughter Lady Lagan didn't tell me the entertainment this year because when daughter asked me in 2019 not to tell everybody, I told her, <laughs> I forgot. I told everybody, we having this, we having this. So I'm saying that Disney's not going to have nothing on us. All right. Our children. Oh, Ooh. yes, yes. What yes. time again? Three. All right. Three. three. Better I'm, get there, too. I'm telling you, our babies will be there at two because you know how we yes. feel about that. Mm -hmm. Feed my babies. A lot of them coming from church. Yes, yes. Feed my babies. So it's going to be uh, phenomenal because we already put God first. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in seeing their businesses. Yes, yes. And see, that's where the pouring into them, helping them to understand who they are, their value, their self-worth, their self-concept, their self-confidence, and now they can develop this. And that's wonderful. Because if, if they put on these nice clothes and they strutting down the aisle, mm -hmm. it makes them feel good about it. I, I know I feel good when I get something new. Amen, amen, amen. And like you said, this will help eliminate them from being like the, the sister that had to come see you. Mm -hmm. We want them to know who they are. Yes. Know your worth. Yes. And I asked one, what would you be selling? She said, it's going to be a surprise. She said, but I'm going to sell out everything. It's okay. going to be a surprise. All right. And the, the excitement. Yeah. These is babies, so yes. everybody wanted to be a vendor. I said, no, not this year. We have an all-children mm -hmm. vendors. All-children vendors? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a treat. All-children yeah. vendors? All-children, yes, ma'am. Come support the vendors. Come support these young entrepreneurs. On December 19th at 3 o'clock at Embassy Suites in Independence. On Rockside. We have to support them. We Amen. have to support our babies. Amen. Oh, Amen. my goodness. And and pray because this week uh, we've lost 10 vendors because they're sick. Oh, yes. With sick the in virus. school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of them was crying yesterday. Just oh. let me come. I'm not to so know. We got to do what the doctor said and mommy. So um, mm -hmm. we'll figure out something they can't come because they're on quarantine, but we're going to figure out something.
because they didn't put all this time. Some of them actually made their products themselves. Oh, my. Yeah, made them themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Bless their little heart. God, yes, God is, is able. And they were my little helpers. Mm -hmm. Who's mm -hmm. going to help count the toys? I said, well, we'll find somebody. You, you tell me somebody mm -hmm. so I can, you know. Mm -hmm. Contact mm -hmm. their, their parents. So, mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be this is the fifth time. year. Fifth year. Yes. Fifth year. Isn't that something to say yes. my guest today? Five years. Yeah. Going strong. Yeah. Going strong. Five yeah. years. And, yeah. and, and to top it off, now we have the tutu and the bow ties. We have the toy drive. And then the icing on the cake, the cream of the creme, or on the top of everything else. It's her born day, December 19th, her born day. So come on out, get your tickets. How can they get tickets, Mother? 216-235-8836. Say it again. 216-235-8836. Give me a call. My phone isn't ringing now because I shut my phone off. But give me a call. Come and enjoy yourselves. Have a great time. Yes, get your ticket so we can help her celebrate her born day. <laughs> it's her born day. We want to celebrate her. We want to honor her. We want to love on you, Lady Gilmore, because I love you so much. You've been such an inspiration in my life. So we want to make sure that you enjoy that day and all the days leading up to it. Amen. All Amen. the days surrounding and days before, days after. Just to show you how much we appreciate you, how much we love you, and how you pour out into everybody's life that the Lord put you in contact with. You pour into their lives. Yeah. And so oh, my I wanted to take this time to pour into you and to let you share how God had put you in contact with caring for others starting with the babies and now she's got so many sons and daughters <laughs> all through cleveland outside of cleveland yes. all over the country yeah she's got sons and daughters but it's it's what you said earlier it feels so good when you say hey daughter yeah. hey son yeah that really empowers a person mm -hmm. to know they belong mm -hmm. because that's one of the things that makes us up is having belonging, having purpose, mm -hmm. having security. And so when, when someone can feel that they belong, yeah. that empowers them and that gives them the love that they need mm -hmm. to be Amen. able to go forth. Amen. And what I don't allow daughter I don't allow my babies to talk about their mothers, their mamas, their daddies. I said, no, son. They're doing the best they can. All right. I want you to pray for them. I want you to love your parents. Love them. And they're, they're doing the best they can. Maybe somewhere down the street, the road, some change. Mm -hmm. But I want you to remember that's your mama and that's your dad. Yes. No matter what. Yes, absolutely. And, and you could see them. They try to be so tough. Tears coming down their eyes. And I said, why are you crying, son? He said, my mother never called me son. My mother never mm -hmm. hugged me. He said, but you hug on me all the time. Mm -hmm. I said, God will put other mothers in your life. I'm not here to take your mama's place. I'm here to be a blessing. That's another Morehouse baby I got. All right. And he was a piece of work. You hear me? All right. A piece of work. I met his mother, and I told her, I said, we can't give up on him. She said, mother, I said, we can't give up on him. I said, even right now, I feel like grabbing him, turning him upside down and popping his little hips. I said, but we can't give up on him. Mm -hmm. We can't. That's right. He's we a principal at one of the top-notch schools in the city oh, of Cleveland. Right. Well, you see what happens when we don't give up on our, on our children? This is what happens. This is what happens. We have to trust God. Remember, faith is the evidence. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. 
So we have to believe, we have to pour into our little ones that they are somebody and they're going to grow up to do great things. Great things. Just like Christ told us that we're going to do more things than what he has done. Greater things. Mm. So we have to speak life Mm. to our children so that they can walk into a room and be that light. They can be that light among their peers. They need to be that light when they walk into the room. Mm. And they need us to help them to get there. So if you do not know my Heavenly Father... I beseech you right now that all you have to do is accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Just say, Lord, you are my life. I am a sinner, but I am. I believe that you came into my life and died for my sins. And I accept you in my heart today. And all you have to do is accept that, say that, and you are a child of the Most High God. And you have eternal life. You have what we are talking about here today. And put that into your children also. Help them to believe. Help them to accept. Yes. He said we can have some of our, our, our rewards here on this side. And I want to get as many as he say I can have. So I thank you, beloved, for joining us today. Remember, the toy drive, the tutus and bow ties, on the 19th of December, Embassy Suites at 3 o'clock. She gave you the phone number at 216-235-8836. Get your tickets. Come out. Support the children. Bring a toy. If you're coming, bring a toy. Please bring a toy. And come and help us celebrate and celebrate Lady Gilmore's Born Day and all the wonderful work that she has done. I'm Reverend Dr. Cynthia, and it's been my pleasure. For women of purpose, we move on in Christ Jesus, and I have a special Christmas program coming up for you on Christmas Day. So tune back in, beloved. Have a blessed week. I love you. I love you to life. God bless you.